The amount of attention BL series get nowadays are getting large compared to the past years when it was still starting. The popularity it received is also not a question, especially in Thailand, where product endorsements and fan meetings are being held once a BL series became a hit, not only locally but internationally. That is why there's also a massive backlash when fans know that these Thai actors only use BL series to become famous. However, getting accepted into a BL series is one of the first challenges these aspiring actors have to go through. After that, having a successful BL series doesn't make a BL actor's career safe from failures. Aside from maintaining the popularity, changes in the BL ships or entering a straight drama could make their careers end due to the growing amount of toxic fans who only care about their delusions. Because of this, I compile some of the BL actors and the challenges they overcome before finally getting to where they are right now in their career. Pavel Fum Pavel is a pure Thai national, however, due to his fluent English accent, which he got when he lived and studied in New Zealand, many people thought that he's either a foreigner or half Thai. Pavel always had a dream of helping his family, that is why he decided to pursue his dream of acting. Fortunately, he got accepted and starred in the second season of Two Moons 2, as one of the side couples which marked his acting debut. And even with a lot of issue the series had received due to it replacing the original cast from the first season, the series became popular and ended up having fan meetings internationally. Later on, the production company Motive Village decided to take on the boy group trend and started to debut OXQ, a Thai boy band consisting of the five casts, Ben Jung Lain, Dome and Pavel who acted as their leader. They debuted with their single entitled Me, and who would have thought that it will be their first and last song? Not just that, because when everyone thought that they will be starring in the season 3 again, things started to fall out. That same year, the group disbanded amidst ongoing controversies and all members started parting ways with the company. Pavel had established a good amount of following in his YouTube channel during the Two Moons 2 era, so after he leave Motive Village, he continued to create contents as well as stream while he doesn't have another series work. He's also managing his clothing line, Half Savage. In 2022, he got the main role in Coffee Melody. However, it doesn't receive the same popularity as Two Moons 2. Because of this, Pavel started to lose hope in acting and even suffered depression. Fortunately, he's still there to try one more time, and because of this, he does not only pass the audition but got the main role in Pit Babe, the series, where he finally got the recognition he deserves. Who Critten Who is a rookie actor who got paired with Pavel in Pit Babe, the series? He gained a lot of fans in a short span of time due to his bubbly personality, and even managed to build a clothing line under his name. However, it seems that hate also catch up to him early on his career. Despite Pit Babe being his first acting work, he also managed to get the main lead and get paired up with Pavel. Because of this, all eyes were on him as people want to know how great his acting skills is. However, after watching the first few episodes of the series, some people started to criticize his acting and his chemistry with Pavel. There's even a content in YouTube where their pairing is included in the list of BL actors with zero chemistry. According to the shared opinion in the video, Pooh failed to portray his character as a sly and manipulative alpha, noting that he looks dorky with his glasses on and had a very bad acting, to the point that it mentioned Pavel as the one who is always adjusting for Pooh, as Pooh cannot catch up to the energy that Pavel is giving. Another comment also shared on that video is that one of the reasons why people doesn't like the pairing of Pavel and Pooh is due to the fact that Pavel and Nut have way more chemistry than them. It doesn't also help that Nut's character has a one-sided love on Pavel's character, thus allowing the two actors to act in many scenes together. There's also one time during their event when Pooh was bashed after he attempted to climb on Pavel's back. I think what triggered fans here is the position of Pavel when Pooh tried to get on his back. They felt that it is a form of disrespect as Pavel is his senior and he shouldn't be doing that to him. However, Pooh claps back to them as he bagged the Rookie of the Year Award in M-Choice and Mint Awards 2024, proving to everyone that he is really a one-talented actor. Jung Archen Jung is one of the Thai actors who have a very distinct face that can definitely capture your attention. He moved to Turkey at the age of 8 with his mother and stepfather and lived there until he was 16, that is why he knows how to speak Turkish. Jung then came back to Thailand to finish his education, and this is when he got casted together with Pavel in the same series. His BL pairing with Nine known as Jung Nine is one of the popular BL pairings during the Two Moons 2 era. However, some of the series fans were saddened by the news that these two will no longer play their roles in Season 3, 
because the two are currently in China to compete in an idol survival show. Nine's joining Chuang 2021 or Produce 101 of China, while Jung's joining Asia Super Young because the two doesn't want to compete against each other. Their plan to be in China together took a big turn when Nine debuted but Jung's show got cancelled. Leaving him to go back to Thailand while Nine continue his activities in China, Jung has been off the limelight until September 12, 2021, when he announced on his Instagram that he would be joining GMM TV as one of their artists. Just like a perfect match, Jung and Dunk's chemistry captured the audience which lead to them being an official BL pairing under GMM TV. From then on, Jung's career started to rise again as their BL pairing, Jung Dunk, continued to dominate the audience's hearts. Bible Witch Up Us Bible became famous because of his great portrayal of Vega's character in Kin Portia the series. International fans were instantly captivated by him after hearing one of his English lines in the early episodes because there are rarely fluent English-speaking actors starring in BL series as well as having English lines. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. His voice plus his fluent English is just enough for that short clip to trend. But did you know that his fluency in English is actually the reason why he got rejected in his early auditions? Bible is pure Thai and was raised in Chiang Mai. The reason behind his fluent English is due to his parents wanting him to learn English so he can use it as a skill or asset in the future. His parents enrolled him in an international Christian school in Chiang Mai, where more than 90% of the student body was from other countries. In addition to that, his parents also installed a cable wherein Bible would watch Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon nonstop. Bible's senior in his university is the one who encouraged him to try modeling as a part-time job. However, due to him failing the height requirement, they tried to put him on commercials. Unfortunately, due to the years of speaking English as his primary language, he was often passed over due to his Thai not being quite fluent enough. In an interview, Bible said that he didn't took the rejection seriously because at that time, he wasn't pursuing acting as his main job and it was just something that he wants to experience because his main goal at that time is to be able to graduate and have a degree. Fast forward to 2022, he landed his first acting job in Kin Porsche the series, where he also helped in some English translations. His pairing with Bill Jakapan was loved by many and was scheduled for their very own solo series before tragedy struck and his co-actor, Bill, decided to leave the company to focus on his issue. Since then, Bible decided to took on his solo activities and one of it is his solo fan meeting in Macau, which later on became a news not because of its success but because of a group of fans who supports his past Dell pairing came and started to express their anger towards the company. They hold large banners and flags with a hate speech written on it. At this point, Bible's career may have been affected by the curse of past Bell partners. Fortunately, 2024 came and this is where 4 Minutes is supposed to be next project after Kin Porsche was finally released and he is partnered with Jess, a veteran and popular Lacorn actor. Together with the team and the two's chemistry, the project became successful and managed to bag the breakthrough cast of the year in the 2024 Mint Awards, successfully proving to all the haters that they are wrong. Apo Natawin Many Bale fans may not know him before he starred in Kin Porsche the series, but Apo is actually another veteran actor in the industry. Apo is signed under CH3 or Channel 3, the first commercial free-to-air television network in Bangkok, and probably one of the biggest and popular channels in Thailand. Some other Thai actors signed under them were Mean Firovich, Gulf Kanawut, and the very famous Mario Mora himself. Apo's contract under CH3 lasted from 2014 to 2019, where he did a lot of supporting and main roles in Lockhorn series. However, throughout those five years, the entertainment industry hasn't been too kind on him. His sexuality has been judged just because of his bubbly personality and his fashion sense. He shared that when he's still young, the production always asked him if he's gay. And because of that, he decided to act masculine in order for the people to stop asking him about it. During one of his TV promotions with Mario Mar for their Lakehorn series, one of the hosts in the show asked him if he is gay. <laughs> Although some may say that this is just a joke, you can see the awkwardness in Apo's face and how uncomfortable that is to be asked or joked about your sexuality in the national television. Luckily, Mario is there to defend him. He was also discriminated for having a dark skin tone. 
In another show, a host doesn't want to believe that Apo has a Chinese ancestry just because his skin isn't pale or white enough. After his contract ended with Channel 3, he decided to go to New York, where he learned bartending as one of the many jobs he had there. He's finally away from the hate and judgment that the industry gave him and was able to do the things he wants in life. He doesn't want to come back to Thailand and wants to stay there for a long time until COVID-19 happened and he had no choice but to go back to Thailand. At this time, he was contacted by his manager about the casting for Kin Porsche and he decided to give it a shot. Lo and behold, he passed the audition in flying colors. However, after the public knew that he will be playing in a BL series, the rumors about him being gay started again. Reporters asked him if playing a BL role had any impact on him especially on the ongoing rumors about his sexuality. And Apo answered them that it didn't cross his mind because he didn't feel that acting in a BL role is strange, and even added that it's more important to focus on our own happiness rather than worrying about others. And because people are being open-minded now than the first generations, plus the help of Beyond Cloud on making sure that Apo can be who he really is, even with all the toxicity in the industry. Apo was able to do the things he loved again, and was able to receive more love from the people around him.